There are many things you might use on a daily basis, but it might still be a mystery what it's there for. You probably see most of these at some point in time during your life, but never gave it enough thought to its true purpose. Here are 17 everyday things you don't understand. Number 17. Tic Tac Holders They save your breath during the worst of times, so you should try to understand how to properly utilize the container to its full potential. You might have noticed a little indentation underneath the lid of the Tic Tacs and probably never put much thought to it. If you remember Pez dispensers, it sort of works like that. When you flip the container upside down, the little indentation should catch a Tic Tac and then you open it up and take it. If you're really bored, you can try using that cap as a catapult and fling Tic Tacs across the room. Number 16. The iPhone Dot Everyone loves the most up-to-date iPhones and people are willing to spend the big bucks on them. But have you ever really taken the chance to actually look at your phone? There are microphones all over this thing and you probably never even knew. There is an extra microphone right between the flash and the camera lens. Could it be for the NSA demanding Apple to put more microphones on the iPhones to spy on us? Who knows? Apple claims that the new microphones that's been added picks up noise better when people are filming in that direction. So it's supposed to help with noise reduction and canceling out the sounds coming from the other direction. This can make for a much clearer conversation as well. It still makes you wonder though what NSA and electronics companies are collaborating to make in order to make our privacy a thing of the past. Number 15. Little Hole Airplanes You ever get a window seat while hopping onto the next plane to your next vacay destination? and notice those little holes on the outside part of the plane window? You might think to yourself, hey, did someone just shoot the window with a BB gun or something? The truth is though, airplanes are designed like that. There's a ton of difference in pressure between the inside and the outside of the plane. Even just with that tiny little hole, it allows great reduction of pressure from the exterior part in order to balance things out a little bit. Otherwise, your window might crack without it. Number 14, Jean Studs. Everyone loves wearing blue jeans and ever since Levi Strauss invented them, they've sold like hotcakes. But what's the deal with the metal studs on the pockets? You probably haven't ran into the problem just yet because they're there. Miners during the gold rush put a lot of stress on them, more than you're likely to. Traditionally, they're made of copper, but with the rising price in this metal, who knows? The workers, on the other hand, certainly knew the difference between the two and not before long, they were patented. We're sure if Levi Strauss was here today, he'd be happy to know his company is worth over $6 billion. Number 13. Jean Pockets You have a total of 5 jean pockets on your standard jeans. You remember those pocket watches people used to use back in the olden days? That's what this pocket was originally meant for, but people in modern times have labeled it as a condom pocket. In any case, the design stuck around and it never really hurts to have an extra pocket to put things in. It's almost like a leftover piece from the past, kind of like our appendix. Number 12. Padlock Lock Hole Locks are fairly common devices which help us maintain security on a daily basis, but we certainly might not always know how they work. Sure you need a key and whatnot, but what's the deal with the little hole you see in this image? Most of the time, we use the keys to open padlocks, and if you're using it outdoors, it might cause some problems without this little hole. It allows for water to drain through the lock. Otherwise, even stainless steel can have some serious problems rusting when the water is on the inside. Number 11. Thick Part of Cable you probably came across some type of phone charger, computer charger, or game console each day with a cable that looks like this. What's it used for though? It's mainly used to suppress high frequency interference. There is quite a bit of electrical stuff we take for granted and yet have no idea what it's doing. Imagine when you're in a building and you can't get good service. This is typically from the building reducing cell phone signals or too many people using their phone. This sort of does the same thing for electricity and it filters out unwanted electromagnetic interferences or frequencies ensuring a good charge or connection to whatever device is plugged in. Number 10. Natural Flavoring You might see a drink that's labeled as having natural flavoring, but you might not fully understand it until you read the ingredients. A new sweetener is found in various Coca-Cola products that is found in a plant, but it can be processed to be up to 200 times sweeter than natural sugar without adding any calories. The process used to create this extraordinarily sweet food is anything but natural using chemicals such as ethanol, isopropanol, and other complicated chemicals. You can see it labeled on this bottle as stevia extract. If it's so natural, why did Coca-Cola want to patent their process of extracting stevia sweetener from the plant? Some studies would insist that something this sweet can cause the body to act in a similar way as if it were actually consuming sugar. 
Number 9. Pot Handle You ever notice that little hole at the end of the pot handles when you're cooking? It could actually be more useful than you thought. While of course, it's typically there for you to hang it up on something, you can also use it to place a stirring spoon without making a mess. You probably had the problem before when you were trying to figure out where to put the utensil you just used to stir with. Typically, wooden spoons will work best for this, but maybe some other ones will work out fine too. Number 8. Your Gas Tank Gas tank mileage on certain cars is made to make people feel as though their gas mileage is actually more efficient than it really is. When you fill up your tank to full, it stays on full longer than it really should. Then, it starts to drop a little bit quicker as it reaches mid-tank. People basically feel sad once they get a full tank and discover that most of the gas is gone already. Thinking the gas tank is lasting a long time might make people feel better, but in the long run, it's most likely best that car manufacturers provide drivers with more accurate readings. Number 7. Bobby Pin Shapes People use bobby pins all the time, whether it's to pick a lock or to keep their hair in check. But why is one side grooved and the other side straight? You might have never really thought about it before, but the truth is, there's a reason. The grooved side is actually the bottom and the straight side is supposed to be on top. The grooves help keep your hair down better and the top part keeps it straight. Number 6. Bumps on the Keyboard Being a fast typer is important, but it's possible that not everyone is reaching their potential. You might have noticed that there are two little bumps on the F and J key on your laptop or keyboard. In typing class, you might have learned to keep your two index fingers on the F and the J as the home keys. Trained writers will also look for those two little bumps in order to help them find the right key. Once your fingers are back on the J and the F, you should pretty much know which key is where after a little bit of practice. This might lead to confusion though for American typers using keyboards in France and other countries. Number 5. Artificial Coloring At what point is it really necessary to have our foods look like a certain color? Is it really worth eating bugs in some cases? If most of these artificial food colorings were given to rats with bad results, why are they giving them to humans? Food manufacturers use roughly 15 million pounds of artificial coloring in our food each year, and more often than not, in children's food. In some European Union countries, artificial colorings are more often more noticeably labeled about the health concerns about these colorings. When you buy some Skittles and eat the red ones, you're ingesting a coloring known as cochineal, which is basically ground up beetles. It's also been used to dye clothing. Other food colorings in high enough doses cause tumors in mice, like blue 1, red 3, and others. Number 4. Converse Holes There's some of the oldest shoes that never seem to go out of style. But what parts of it might not you understand? What are the purposes of the two holes on the sides of the shoe? There is apparently a reason they do this, and it's not just for looks. You can actually loop the shoestring through the holes to make it fit a little bit tighter. But you might feel the lace against your feet slightly. You just have to unlace the two holes at the top, and then try sticking them through these hidden holes. Number 3. Pen Cap Prevention the closer you look at the pen cap, the more likely you are to realize that there's a little hole at the top of the cap. You might have just thought it was part of the design, but think again. With most companies, including BIC, there's a hole at the top in order to prevent choking hazards. In this case, if the cap ends up in your windpipe, air can still reach your lungs thanks to these little holes. Number 2. OnStar Privacy Policy With the way things are turning out, it's starting to look as though our rights are as easy to give away as checking yes, I understand on a privacy policy box. Remember, you fully agree to it. It's very possible all of us have done it at some point in time where we clicked yes without actually reading the entire agreement, and shame on you if you just did. But aside from signing your data over to Facebook and countless apps, OnStar has not only been tracking you, but also snitching you out. They have an agreement to release info to the police, such as how fast you're driving, and this sneaky company is willing to sell your driving data to the highest bidder. Welcome to the surveillance state. Even once you decide to opt out of their service, you probably also agreed somehow to let them still track you. So watch out. Number 1. Pledging Our Allegiance If you're a student at a public school in the United States, you might remember your teachers forcing you to stand up and recite the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. But what are we doing exactly, and how this whole thing start anyways? And what does it exactly mean to pledge allegiance? Over 60 million US students say it each and every day. Many probably don't even know that it was written by Francis Bellamy, a devout Christian socialist who wanted everyone to live a utopian lifestyle. And that's what we're pledging to? According to some, pledging our allegiance is defined as total obedience to our government and to recognize the flag as a symbol of our country and freedom. Is this sort of like NSA's privacy policy, or what's going on here? There has always been a little bit of controversy surrounding the pledge, and there have been a few questions about the separation of church and state. 
make sure you know what you're pledging to before you pledge it, and only pledge it if you mean it.